Hey, this is Kelly and Steve Bevelheim. We, we, we're just here to say thank you so much for your love and support and prayers for us over the last 27 years with Wycliffe Bible Translators. We hope this video just gives you a little glimpse of in what we're doing here at in North Carolina at the JARS Center right now. We've served in Africa, Asia, and now in North Carolina, and we just want to say thank you so much. We use the airplane as a tool to reach all over the world, the most remote parts of the world with the gospel. People are dying and going into eternity without the message of hope in their language that they can understand. And just like Kelly and I in the Philippines and Cameroon and in Southeast Asia and in Africa used the airplane to fly in supplies and do medevac flights and fly translators and the completed word of the New Testament, uh, we're here at JARS training the next generation to do just that same uh, service of bringing God's message of hope into the most remote parts of the world with uh, the saving message of hope that can transform lives. Thank you for your part in allowing us to be here doing this service. Hello, my name is Johnny Reeves and this is Brett Fox. We're here at uh, the JARS campus in Waxhaw, North Carolina attending flight orientation where Steve Bevelheimer has been uh, training and equipping us, giving us tools that we can use on the mission field in an airplane. In a way, Steve is accomplishing much more here at the JARS campus because when he was on the mission field, he was one man flying one airplane, doing one man's work, but here he's equipping many people, many pilots, to do a whole lot of work to further Bible translation. A big thing that I've learned from Steve was why missionary pilots should operate with a high level of professionalism. You know, it's easy for me here in the U.S. to fly around. We have long, wide runways, and it's easy to get lazy, but I've really learned um, with Steve's help, just to fly with a high level of precision and proficiency. We want to thank you for praying for the Bevelheimers and supporting them with your finances. It seems a little cliche to say this, but it, it's not possible without you for Steve to do what he's doing. And so that greatly affects our ministry and our future. So thank you.